Hello friend, I am Samadhi back to with a new tutorial video regarding soil mechanics. In my last video, I talk about how to find out the load carrying capacity in pi and that time I used the formula that's called dynamic formula where I discussed engineering formula and helix formula. So in case you missed this, so there is some I button, just go out and check it. As I promised, there are another three formula to find out the ultimate load carrying capacity or load carrying capacity. In Hillis formula, engine formula, we found out the allowable load. But today I discuss static formula for find out the load carrying capacity in pile foundation. And in this formula, we will find out the ultimate load carrying capacity. In case you want to learn something new about this static formula in very easy way then definitely without further delay let's get started the video another one thing I will share how do you get the node free of cost in somewhere in my video in static formula there are two terms so how that two terms come let's we talk about suppose this is your pipe okay and load is active so in this scenario, there are two types of load is acting on this pipe. One load is acting on the cross-sectional area, cross-sectional area on this pipe and another one is applied the circumferential area. So we add two part and find out the static formula very easy manner. So let's get started. Suppose, suppose Q ultimate equal to Q1 plus Q2 that Q1 for applied on cross section area that Q2 due to skin friction remember in engineering formula in engineering formula we didn't consider the friction that was our one drawback which I was mentioned but the static formula we use the skin friction okay so that is the our few ultimate the load what we know now stress equal to load per area so we can write that load that is equal to stress into area say this is your pi d is your diameter and height equal to h okay so one load acting on the cross section area so this part i can say the load so we can say stress into cross section area here i can write skin friction stress stress due to friction into circumferential if you want this node as pdf so in description you find a whatsapp number message on this number with a screenshot that you subscribe this channel and you mention the video name which node you need according to this we will send you the node as soon as possible and this is completely area right no issue here I can write QF into pi by 4 d square. Here I can write skin friction, say QF into pi d h. So that is the formula of your Q ultimate that is the main formula but 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 there are few constant for frictional stress 
there comes to one constant that is known as alpha that alpha value given to the exam otherwise i will provide in this video that alpha known as adhesion factor or you can say skin friction factor value of alpha alpha value clay that should be 0 0.7 to 1.0 medium clay 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 hard clay 0 0.3 to 0 0.3 okay that is the value of alpha we know for cohesive soil that formula q equal to m into c a is plus 9 cp into a p where c equal to average undrained cohesion and cp equal to average undrained cohesion of soil at pi tip c or cp sometime equal to q by 2 and here m equal to alpha don't worry what is the m this is the video regarding static formula in pi foundation where i discuss about how that static formula are derived there is a two part i discuss with example real life example and then i discuss what will be the form if the soil is cohesive soil so hope there will any kind of doubt if there is a doubt do comment in comment section i will definitely get back to you and if you find some value from this video so definitely like the video share with your friend and for more video subscribe the channel press the bell icon for never miss an update and also remember i shared how you get the note free of cost so thank you for watching this video keep learning